Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, showing you the products I'm using and my lovely global impasto paints with my Keep It Simple Pouring Medium by Global. And what I'm doing today is recreating the style uh, technique of acrylic pour that I first started doing YouTube videos with. Um, and I seem to have these results back in the day of these lovely, well, I used to call them my jilly clusters. Um, so I'm trying to recreate doing as close as I possibly can to the mix that I used to do back then, except I'm, I did use the global paints, but the keep it simple pouring medium wasn't out at that time. So I am using my keep it simple pouring medium, um, but I'm trying it the same as what I did using just a few drops, one or two drops of Helmar silicone in all of my paint colors. Um, and I used to get these real jilly clusters. I have long since stopped using silicone in my pores because I, I haven't really found that I've needed to, but I still haven't got the exact same results as I used to get four years ago when I started. So hence is why I'm trying that exact same recipe now to see if I can get my jilly clusters. Um, and the effect that I used to get, the thing is when you use silicone and the reason I stopped is because it's such a pain when your canvas is all dry, you have got this silicon residue on top. Not so much so with the Helmar silicon because it's only one drop, one or two drops in your paint. But you have to really make sure you clean that silicon off um, before you varnish or resin. Because if you don't, it just leaves like pitting in resin and um, all sorts of stuff like that. So that's why I really wanted to stop using it. And I can certainly get lovely cells with just my uh, keep it simple pouring medium on its own. But I could never get this exact <coughs> look. Yes, that's my puppy dog telling me she wants attention. So that's what is in all of these lovely colours. And this is the exact technique was doing kind of this wiggle pour. Um, doing a gentle tilt like what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to swipe down the center of that and I'm going to see if I can get those exact kind of look that I got. If you go back to my very first videos, um, that's, yeah, the look that I used to get. But anyway, um, bear with me. We'll give this a go and see if it uh, turns out anything like the original um, creations I used to do. I mean, some people might not like the original and whatever but I just wanted to give it a go with my kiss pouring medium and the couple of drops of Helmar silicone so we'll see how we go now this is my swipe color it is actually the berry delicious that really dark uh, berry delicious that I custom make out of the um, cool red, a little bit of phalo blue, and if you want it to go real dark, a little bit of black. So this has only got, this has got no flow troll in it. It's only got my kiss pouring medium and at one drop of silic the Helmar silicon. And look, straight away, I'm getting that um, cell pop up. So, and it's changing the whole colour, as you see, of the piece of art. That one little bit of Berry Delicious in the swipe has completely put all those gorgeous um, dark cherry tones in there as well. So I am really hopeful for this particular one that it's going to work really well.
Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. This is definitely like the good old days when I first started and how excited I was to see the results. And yes, this time I'm using that scary butane torch because this is what I did when the first ones that I started and it's just literally touching each place to get those clay. Oh my goodness. So I really tried to create a pour exactly how I started um, my YouTube channel with these kind of pours. I think I did them nearly every time. Um, I went back and tried to recreate the jilly clusters that I used to get. And this is what I got. And boy, oh boy, brings back the memories. It's a little bit dark there, but you know, I think as it dries, I think that is gonna come through again. You're not gonna see any of that burnt umber swipe at all. But of course, I want to go back as far as what I did when they were same as this was doing a few balloon kisses that actually joined up and ended up like these big flowers so we'll um do that now but look at that <laughs> unbelievable that's me reminds me of what i used to do all those years ago okie doke now we are back to um i, I just want to try and create some of the first pours, like I said, that I did on video. It was going back uh, three or four years ago. I'll try and link a couple of the videos. Um, you can see how I've progressed or not progressed. Uh, but the ones I used to do like this, I just used to love them and it seemed like I couldn't recreate them again. Um, but there is absolutely no flow troll in this whatsoever to get those lovely gems and clusters. So now I'm gonna give it some of the old balloon magic to try and get rid of that brown. Uh... Oh, look at, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Well, I can put that on a piece of paper. A little bit of paper over here, I'll transfer me kisses. Show you what they come out like, those colors together. Are you beaut? Super duper. Really love them. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is definitely uh, is and still is my signature style, but I didn't think I'd be able to recreate what I used to do. But look at those. That's lovely. Just getting rid of any sort of that area that shows the brown as a line through it. And I'm gonna just, sometimes then, when you do your paints as I've done them a lot thinner for this particular one, because I went back and watched the videos myself and I explained that I got the paint thinner so that, that they would stretch, the cells would all stretch and they did, I'm just looking around and see if I've got one of the originals, but I'll link the video so you can have a look at it and you can tell me what you think. Oh, look at that. My goodness. Although I'm going a bit AWOL with the balloon now, but I think that this is gonna stretch out like the old, the old fashioned days. The old days, my YouTube videos. Okay, that's enough. You can even do balloon kisses on your edges if you like. I mean, for me to do a balloon kiss on the edges, like my signature. It's a jelly cube. Jelly cube creation. Do just a couple of balloon kisses on my, because this is a gallery wrapped canvas, I mean, it's nice. Oh, what somebody did explain to me the other day, the lovely lady mentioned it, that the wrap of the canvas is all the way under the um, canvas. Oh, look at that. That one is worthy of 
um, definitely worthy of a little resin and I might just give it away. Look at that, that's beautiful. Have a look in the photos what you think, but I will cut obviously tomorrow. I'm kind of hoping that those cells have all stretched and gone into each other like my original ones did. And do you think I can quickly grab, I haven't got an original, I have got some original paintings that I did, but I haven't got one here right now. So I absolutely love that. That is gorgeous. Um, and that should go into my frame, I think. But I will show you at the end. And I really hope that you enjoyed going back in time with me. I'll link a couple of the videos in the comments of my very first videos. <laughs> I'm a lot quieter and uh, a lot meek and mild than I am now. So I suppose you build up confidence over time. Uh, and I'm old, I'm old and I'm kind of, you know, getting there I suppose. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, please take care. Bye for now.